Good day, student. My name is Okunya Eugene. I am your biology teacher. How are you enjoying your lockdown holidays? Don't worry, very soon it will be over and we will come back to our normal classes. We are going to look at biological association. In an ecosystem, two or more types of organisms may interact with one another in a different ways. These interactions are also known as associations and they can be beneficial, harmful or neutral to each of the organisms of the association. Now this type of association is what we refer to as biological association. So we're going to look at types of association. Symbiosis. Symbiosis is a type of, is any type of a close and long-term biological association between two species of organisms. Symbiosis could be of one of the three types of relationship, such as parasitism, mutualism, or commensalism, in which at least one organism benefits from the association. The organisms, each termed a symbiote, may be of the same or of different species. Parasitism, which is the second one. Parasitism is an association in which one organism called the parasite lives on or in the body of another organism called the host. The parasite derives its nutrients and shelter from the host. They tend to cause damage or diseases and sometimes death to their host. Examples are tapeworms in the intestine of man, mistletoe on the flowery plants, plasmodium in the red blood cell in human, lice and ticks on the skin of animals, etc. Let's look at types of parasites. There are two types of parasites. We have endoparasite and ectoparasite. Parasites which live inside the body of the host are called endoparasites, e.g. plasmodium, ascaris, tapeworms, etc. Parasites which live on the surface or outside the body of the host is called ectoparasites, e.g. lice, Teak, fleas, dodder, which is plant, and misto, which is also plant. So we are now going to look at the third one, which is mutualism. Mutualism is a cessation of relationship between two organisms of different species in which each organism benefits from the association. Examples of mutualism are A, association between an agar and fungus in lichen. B, protozoa in the digestive tract of termites. C, bacteria in the intestinal tract of ruminant. 
D. Nitrogen fixing bacteria in root nodules of leguminous plants. The two organisms benefit from each other. That is two of these organisms that form a, an association. Now we look at the fourth one, which is commensalism. Commensalism is the association between two species of organisms in which one species known as commensa benefit, but the other one called the host is unaffected. The commensalism normally seek food and shelter from the host. Examples are shark and remora fish, epiphytes and trees, the use of trees by birds for shelter and nesting, the dispersal of the fruit of some plants by animals, and hermit crow and a bristol worm. Now let's look at assignment of the day. Remember this assignment should be submitted through my personal message and I will check it if it is correct or not. Number one, A, explain the terms parasitism. I.I. commensalism. I.I.I. symbiosis. 1B. Mention I. One fungal parasite of a plant and its host. I.I. One bacteria parasite of humans. Number two, give three differences between a predator and a parasite. Please remember to submit it to me in my personal WhatsApp message. Thank you. God bless you. So we'll meet again next time.